Hey there, happy Monday. Um, so this concept has come up several times in the past week on coaching calls, and so I wanted to share it with all of you. Our greatest source of believability are our testimonials, right? There are evidence, there are facts. So if you remember in, in Thurman Fleet's concept model, that when we have an idea, a dream, an imagination, it either is going to go down the knowledge side, which is knowledge, faith, and action, or it's going to go down the other side, which is ignorance, worry, doubt, anxiety, fear, and then anger. So we want to keep it on the knowledge side. And since testimonials are our greatest source of believability and they're the way that our practice members can see what can happen in their life, um, we want them everywhere. So I encourage you today, yep, do it today before you leave your office. Star fear with time, right? Never feed fear with time. Massive action. There are, three, there are four levels of action, right? No action, retreating, normal levels, or massive action. We're massive action people. So before you leave today, go around your office as if you're a practice member. Sit in your chairs. Um, sit wherever you do your exams. Lie down. Be in your x-ray room. Go to the bathroom. And here's the deal. Wherever your eyes would land as a practice member, put up a testimonial or an inspirational quote or a, um, uh, a fact about chiropractic. Now, your testimonies are a greatest source of believability, so I would err on 80% testimonials and then divide up the rest between inspirational quote or fact about chiropractic care. And wherever your eyes would land, that's where you'd have a testimonial. So let me give you some examples. I sat in my reception room and we had like a wall across it, which was like a big open um, reception desk. And so I just had testimonials all over the place. Why? Because the greatest source of believability is testimonials. In order for my practice members to get the best care, it's important that they commit to long-term care and they stay, pay, and refer. Then I sat down wherever they were going to have their scans because I, I, I did, um, you know, a uh, salutation station, testimonial, where they would stand and have their, their range of motion, all of those things, every single place, testimonial. Then even on when you... Um, on their my adjusting bed you know they would lay up on the ceiling and so I had posters made that were the size of the ceiling tiles and had a testimonial up there so when they were lying supine and I was checking them testimonial when they laid side posture so I adjusted their their atlas or axis testimonial the other side testimonial um I didn't have it when they were prone because obviously they're the, you know, the tables like this in the bathroom. If I'm a dude and I'm standing testimonial, if I'm sitting, I'm a woman testimonial in my x-ray room. I'm standing there having a lateral view testimonial. I'm standing having A to P testimonial testimonials everywhere. So this is like almost like no money to do it. And I didn't get fancy. I just used cardstock paper chose a font that I liked and put the testimonial on it. Remember to underline and both face the most important parts. I would recommend no more than three sentences. Um, then because like I'm a system freak, um, I had them in like little frames and on the back of them I had numbers. And so when we closed out every month and opened the new month, which was the third Thursday of every month, we rotated them one position. So all of the positions for the testimonials in our office we're on a grid like, all right, so this is number one, two, three, four. And the first time I put them up, it was one on one, right? So number one was in number one position. Number two was in number two position and so on and so forth. And then at the end of that month, on the third visit of that month, I took number one testimonial. It went into number two spot. Number 30 testimonial went into number one spot. So that way I knew what one was where. And it's really easy then, too, to start a conversation with a practice member instead of talking about the weather or politics or whatever. You can start by the testimonials that are all around your office, right? And you use, you use the concept of, you know how well it's like. You know how individuals who are... Um, <clears throat> individuals who typically um, don't sleep well because of sleep apnea, you know how they're usually tired. Well, that's because C345 keeps the diaphragm alive, blah, 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 blah. And then you can relate it back to now you have facts. So you have the testimonial and then you have your facts with your Merrick chart. That's another thing to have around your office so you can quickly grab it. Don't memorize a Merrick chart. Well, at least I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but have them everywhere so you can grab them real quickly and show them evidence and facts, which remember knowledge, faith, and action. So I hope that helps. Do it today.
starve fear with time and take action. Every single one of you have at least a few testimonials. So start with the places that your practice members' eyes fall most often. Thanks.